I want to talk to you about three things. A little about myself, a little about a service organization I'm passionate about, and a lot about how serving others and connecting with your community may surprise you. Almost 25 years ago, I moved to the city with Jan. We raised two daughters here, came here to continue a profession in radio broadcasting. After about 15 years of that or so, I figured about I had enough of radio broadcasting, so I extended into a few more side businesses that I had going. I created an advertising firm and I run a few events in the city. My connections in town enabled me to make a living. Had some successes and some hard earned lessons. <laughs> One summer, I got involved with promoting a wrestling tour. Booked venues all within a seven hour drive of here. Seven nights, seven towns, seven different arenas. I'll never forget calling up one of the cities a week before the big night. And I said, how many tickets have we sold? He said, hold on, I'll come right back. He came back after a few minutes and he said, one. <laughs> now, I was hoping he was going to say, left. One ticket was sold. In fact, it turned out on that tour, I lost money every night. We drove to one town, I lost money. We drove to the next town, I lost some more money. We went to the next town, I lost even more money. I had a lot to learn about running a business, but forged ahead. Early in my business career, a lawyer in town asked me to a Rotary Club meeting. I didn't know much about Rotary at the time, but lunch was paid for, so away I went. I found out Rotary International is a service organization of over 1.2 million members, business and community leaders. You could join for various reasons, for service in your community, helping the food bank, ringing the bells at the Salvation Army Christmas kettles, raising funds for organizations, building a playground in town. You could join for friendships. Like many organizations, fun events are planned. They told me you could enhance your leadership skills, Kevin. And yes, I could network my business. Now that sounded inviting. A room full of community leaders and I could network my business. That was 20 years ago and I did network. I did find new clients. I did take advantage of the connections I was making. One Christmas, I got an email. It was a, an invitation to all Rotarians to maybe participate in a fun two-week trip to Australia. Something just for fun that Rotary puts on. It's called Rotary Friendship Exchange. It was a time of the year that my wife Jan couldn't attend, but I went anyhow and had a very positive experience. It was a lot of fun. We went to about five different towns in Australia, and in each town, the local Rotarians toured you around. In one of the towns, we toured a vineyard. Grapes grown for winemaking. And one of the Rotarians indeed was the architect of that vineyard. He designed them. So picture a valley of grapes. Rolling hills, beautiful sunny day. And that Rotarian turned to me and said, at this point in my life, I've come to realize I need Rotary 
more than rotary needs me. At this point in my life, I've come to realize I need rotary more than rotary needs me. How could a gentleman of such success and obvious skills need a service club more than the service club needs him? As the years went on, I got on the club executive. I even became club president. Took on a few projects. Got asked to run the annual duck race lottery. I was chair. Now maybe you're familiar with these duck race lotteries. You buy a ticket, it's a fundraiser. Your ticket gets you a duck. All the ducks are thrown in the river. The first duck over the finish line wins the prize. Well, I tell you something, it was a hoot. I loved it. I ran it from start to finish. Worked with a team, worked with a budget. I did media buys. I remember getting the, the gaming application so we could be licensed to run the lottery. I just loved it. At times, it was a little bit of stress. You're dealing with volunteers that may or may not perform for you. But I tell you, for two summers, I planned my summer vacation around the duck race lottery. It was a learning experience. Being a part of organizations like Rotary is a lot like, like others. You could be involved with minor hockey or girl guides or, or your church, school groups, the art gallery, leadership clubs. You meet some people outside of your regular circle of friends. You have some fun, you develop skills. Other areas of service included Rotary Youth Exchange. That's a program we send young people, high school age, abroad for a year. A year to learn a new language, a new culture, and to learn about themselves. Youth Exchange could put a young person's life into a positive direction forever. I mentioned we have two daughters. We were pleased to be host families for Rotary Youth Exchange students. Young people from another country lived with us. Our kids grew up with that. In fact, when our eldest was in grade 11, she applied for Rotary Youth Exchange and she was successful. And she did a year of high school in Brazil. Our youngest was another story. As a dad, I don't know how many years I talked about, oh, you have to be a Rotary Youth Exchange student. And I know it seems shocking, but there was no way she was going to listen to her father. No way. Until her sister came back from Brazil and in so many words said, you'd be crazy not to apply for youth exchange. She did. And she did her grade 11 year in Japan. If you're interested in youth exchange, anyone can apply. You don't have to be involved in Rotary. So just Google Rotary Youth Exchange. 10 years ago, the group that ran a local home lottery approached our Rotary Club and said, could you sell tickets for us, your whole membership? You could sell the tickets. We'll give your club a donation as a fundraiser. And our club said yes. We did that for a few years, and then the group came to us and said, why don't you just take over, please, the Dream Home Lottery? And again, our club said yes. It's a huge undertaking for any organization. So like the prior operators of the lottery, the club decided we better hire somebody to operate this lottery. And I thought, wow, count me in. I had experience at marketing. Heck, I even ran that duck race lottery 10 years ago, and I loved it. So there was a tendering process, and I got the job.
It was then I realized that volunteering for that duck race lottery opened doors. <laughs> the duck race. That was in 2010, and now seven years later this winter, I'll have helped build seven homes in a row. Homes raffled off, proceeds in the community. Twenty years ago, I thought I was joining an organization to learn a bit and maybe network my business. But the more I engaged myself in the community, the more I benefited. the more that walk through the Valley of Grapes began to make sense for me. Last winter, a fellow Rotarian asked if I would join him and speak at a local high school and talk to some students about connecting with the community. Community service. It was the middle of winter, darkest days of the year, and the first class of the morning. But I said yes, and away we went. We did talk about Connecting with the community. And how? Why? As always, when I meet young people, I always talk about Rotary Youth Exchange and how it could be an opportunity for you. Whenever you talk to great tenors, it's, it's often the same. Some listen intently, some maybe not. But I was hoping I was connecting. After I left the classroom, I realized I forgot my hat there, so I went back. And that's when one of the students said, that youth exchange program sounds, sounds kind of interesting. So I spent a couple of minutes with her, and I left thinking, maybe a life has been changed. This summer, I attended a Rotary conference in Winnipeg. Part of the conference was a youth component, a leadership event. I found some funding and I had a contest where the winners received an all expense paid trip to Winnipeg to be a part of that youth leadership event. Three attended from our region. Two of them were from that classroom I spoke at last winter. Two days of intense learning, of challenging yourselves inspirational speakers from around the world connecting with other like-minded people. An event like that could change the direction of a young person's life forever. Changing the direction of a young person's life forever. By joining others, you increase your capacity for positive change. Increase your capacity for positive change. Rotary, Lions, Kinsmen, the, 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 the youth clubs at school, student council, we day events. This fall, like every fall, we ask for interested youth exchange applicants to put their name in, to apply for Rotary Youth Exchange. They're usually in grades 9 or 10 or 11, so as you can imagine, it's not an easy sell to talk a young person to going to the other side of the world for a year and leave the comfort zone of their school and their family and their friends and their community. But we know the rewards are immense. I got to be on the team that interviewed the applicants it was a Saturday morning. We want to ensure the young people that we send across the world to Thailand or Austria or Bolivia are mature and up to the task, ready to push themselves outside of their comfort zone. Young people who can be an ambassador for their family, their city, themselves. Our task that morning was to choose two. Two who will learn a new language, a new culture, and a lot about themselves. At the end of that morning, we did choose two. Two whose lives will be changed forever. 
And that is immensely rewarding work. When I joined Rotary, I thought it was to better my business and to maybe have some fun. But the more I gave, the more I received. I'm 53 years old. Two years ago in October, I had a heart attack. And not a minor heart attack. I spent a week in a Vancouver hospital. Seven days of listening to beep, beep, beep. And myself. I thought about how close I came to the end of a journey. And where would that leave me now if indeed that happened? When you connect with your community, you open the door to opportunity, to changing lives, to fulfillment. Now when I remember those words, I need Rotary more than Rotary needs me, I get it. I thought I engaged myself in the community for business, for fun, to learn something, but I gained far more because at the end of my day or even the end of my life, I can think about those young people I met and how maybe I was a positive influence on their future. That classroom I visited last winter, of the three youth that went to Winnipeg, two were from that classroom. When we did interviews on that Saturday morning for Rotary Youth Exchange, two were from that classroom. And indeed, one of them is now a Rotary Youth Exchange student and will begin the journey of her life starting next summer. Their names are Hunter and Jessica. I invited them here this evening because I thought, these are two young people that have courage. So I wanted you to say hi to Hunter and Jessica. <laughs> two people who have the courage to say yes to opportunities to connect with the community. I need Rotary more then Rotary needs me. Because at the end of my journey, I can close my eyes and remember some of the people that I met and maybe people that I've touched their lives in a positive way. How can you connect with your community? Your community that may be around the world. I was lucky to be invited to Rotary. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Best of luck in finding yourself.